Get ready for a bombshell. Audi just dropped a major announcement that could shake up Carlos Sainz's future in Formula One. What does this mean for his career? Is he at risk of losing his spot in F1? The stakes are high, and the implications could be massive. So, buckle up and join us as we dive into this video today to uncover what's next for Sainz after this extreme news from Audi. In Formula One, news can come all at once just like London buses, nothing for a while. Then suddenly, multiple big stories hit the scene. This week, two major developments could change the game for drivers. Nico Hülkenberg's journey in Formula One has been like a roller coaster with lots of ups and downs. After Renault left him without a ride in 2020 and only gave him occasional substitute roles, he's landed a big deal with Audi starting in 2025. This is a huge personal win for Hülkenberg and a big shakeup for the F1 driver scene. Hülkenberg's move to Audi is a really big deal. Since he first entered F1 in 2010, he's been known for being consistent and reliable, even though he hasn't won any races yet. His announcement to join Audi shows his excitement, especially since it marks a big commitment from a German car maker to Formula One. Being part of a team with a German-made power unit feels like a perfect fit for Hülkenberg, and it's a win-win situation for both him and Audi. By joining Audi, Hülkenberg isn't just representing his country, he's also becoming the experienced leader of the team. This could put him in a better position than he was in at his previous teams. Moving to Audi might give him better resources and support, which could help him perform better in races. As people wonder who will join Hülkenberg at Audi, it's clear that his move is shaking up the driver market. It shows how Formula One is always changing, with drivers looking for opportunities that match their career goals and teams searching for drivers who can make them more competitive. Audi's strategic recruitment. Audi's decision to recruit Hülkenberg is a big deal. By choosing an experienced German driver known for his steady performance, Audi seems to be following the same strategy as Aston Martin. This move shows how teams strategically select drivers who can help them succeed in Formula One. Aston Martin set the stage by bringing in Sebastian Vettel, whose leadership and experience were vital for the team's growth. Audi aims to replicate this success by using Hülkenberg's extensive Formula One experience to their advantage as they enter the sport. Integrating Hülkenberg into Audi's Formula One project is seen as a smart move, especially against teams using Ferrari engines. If Audi can develop a competitive power unit right from the start, it could give them an immediate edge over their competitors. Audi's CEO Andreas Seidel is excited about Hülkenberg's return to Formula One with Audi. He emphasizes that Hülkenberg's role will be crucial in developing the car and team dynamics. With Hülkenberg's seat confirmed, the 2025 Formula One driver market is starting to take shape. His long-term contract sets a precedent for other teams, with half of the available seats for 2025 already filled by drivers, securing positions well into the future. With most open seats remaining towards the back of the grid, teams like Alpine are still searching for drivers. Meanwhile, McLaren, Ferrari, Aston Martin and presumably Red Bull have almost finalized their lineups. Mercedes IES has one seat reserved for Key Antonelli. As Audi increases its involvement in Formula One, the second seat alongside the new team is highly coveted. This presents an opportunity for drivers seeking to join a promising project. Speculation about who will join Audi is intense, as the team's strategy focuses on long-term development. The future of Kevin Magnussen with Team H is uncertain. Despite being an experienced team member, his performance has been overshadowed since Nico Hülkenberg's arrival. With new leadership from team principal Aokamatsu, significant changes are possible. Both seats might become available, signaling a fresh direction as the team aims to rejuvenate its lineup with new talent. Speculation is rife that Oliver Beeman, currently with Ferrari, might fill one of the H seats, serving as a stepping stone for his Formula One career. This move could provide him with the exposure needed to advance further, possibly positioning him as a successor to Lewis Hamilton at Mercedes. Alternatively, the experienced Magnussen could stay on to offer stability and mentorship. However, rumors also suggest that Alpine drivers are exploring options to leave their current setups, potentially eyeing a move to H. This adds another layer of complexity to the driver market. As H considers its future lineup, 
it faces a crucial decision, bringing in experienced drivers or taking a risk with newer talent. Given past experiences, it's unlikely that H will opt for two rookies again, although surprises are not uncommon in Formula One. A prudent move for H could be to explore seasoned drivers like Walter Bottas, who may be leaving Salba and could bring consistent performance to the team, complementing the promising but less experienced B-man. For Audi, deciding who will partner with Nico Hülkenberg offers various possibilities. Current options include retaining drivers already with the team, such as Bottas, who brings a wealth of experience from his time with the Constructors' Championship winning team. The decision hinges on finding the right balance between experience and potential as Audi aims to establish itself as a competitive force in Formula One. Another potential candidate for the H team is Joe, a driver who has shown bursts of significant talent. With a large home audience in China, he brings substantial market value to the team. A major talking point in the driver market is Carlos Sainz, who was released by Ferrari despite strong performances. His availability from 2025 makes him a highly attractive option for Audi. Pairing him with Hülkenberg could give Audi one of the strongest driver pairings in Formula One, combining experience with proven skill. Audi's dilemma – balancing experience and potential. Audi faces a dilemma in choosing their drivers. While their recent commitment to Hülkenberg suggests a preference for experience, they might also consider pairing him with a younger, less proven driver to balance the team dynamics. Despite his credentials, the possibility of not signing Sainz could stir significant debate among fans and commentators. Sainz, a former Ferrari driver, is undoubtedly one of the most talented drivers available and has familial ties that would make him a great fit for Audi. Another driver who could be a great choice for that seat is Theo Porcher, the current F2 champion and Saba driver. Porcher has always been seen as someone meant for Formula One. The big question is whether he'll get a seat. But when you see Porcher's talent, it's clear he's something special. He's really good at handling new challenges. This was proven in one of his first Indy car races, where he went from 22nd to 11th place, making a lot of overtakes along the way. He even got a trophy for making the most overtakes that weekend. When David Malakus got injured, Porcher was called in to replace him, showing he can handle high-pressure situations. This year, Formula One hasn't seen many new drivers. People are excited about drivers like B-Man, but there's a gap where rookies should be. Saba now has the chance to bring in one of the most exciting young talents in F1. Porsche has met every expectation from his team, and his success in IndyCar shows he's worth investing in for Audi's future projects. Well, Porsche isn't just someone who should get an F1 seat, he's someone who deserves it. Recent performances hint that Porsche could be super important for Audi's future in Formula One. If Carlos Sintz joins Nico Hülkenberg at Audi, it would make a really strong starting lineup, maybe even one of the best. But Sabre should think about where to put Theo Porsche in the F1 grid to get him ready for big roles later, especially when Hülkenberg retires. When Hülkenberg decides to stop racing, Sabre might want Porsche to be ready to take his place. They could send Porsche to gain experience with other teams like Alpine or even Williams. Maybe he could replace Sargent at Williams, who wasn't as good in the junior races. Porsche has shown he's super talented and dedicated to the Saba name, so he could be a big help for Audi in the future when they want to do better in the championship. While a team of Sintz and Hülkenberg would be strong right away, putting Porsche in another team first could be smart. It would make sure he's ready when the time comes. This plan wouldn't just help Audi now and ensure they're in a good place for the future, so what do you think? Should Sintz and Hülkenberg start, or does Porsche deserve his shot in F1 now? Comment below and subscribe for more.